Welcome back for another Modern Masters Vintage Cube Ixalan Innistrad draft. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do the thing. Each token that would be created under an opponent's control this turn is created under your control instead. Four mana for a 2-2. Two -two. Why do you exist? Would this be too strong as a 2-2 two -two for 2 with Flash that, makes, that steals the tokens? Like, is that too good? It does not seem like it's too good. I don't understand. Coda Area, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for uh, the sub. Really appreciate it. Is it just Reaver Ambush? That seems good. Okay, well, I mean, if Blue doesn't get Bears, it could be a 2-1 Snapcaster. Like, that's... This pack is actually very good. I like Devotion. I like Hunt the Weak. I like Divine Verdict. I like Strength. I, I think I like Strength more than most. Uh, I like Sky Marcher, but I think it's actually Reaver Ambush here. I'm going to go with the Reaver Ambush. Wow, a Forerunner of the Heralds and a Regisaur. Wow. And a Hunt the Weak. And a Water Knot. And a Jungleborn Pioneer. This pack is great. I don't know what to pick. You guys want to pick for me? I don't want to deal with this. I'll even take Recover or Vampire Revenant on the wheel. This pack has so many good things going for it. I feel like a green card is definitely coming back. And I feel like because Forerunner is a, is primarily a blue-green card, Regisaur is a red-green card. I almost kind of want the Hunt the Week. I could see Water Knot for Pirates. Blue-black. Blazing Hope. Come on, Brian. You can do better than that. I don't think Blue-black Control is a thing, but I think Blue-black Pirates is a thing. And we did just draft Reggie. I think it is Reggie, but I, we did just draft Reggie. I'm going to go with Water Knot just because it is the... Uh, it is the most... It's the, it's the card that fits most, right? Like, I don't want to be green-black. Because all the green cards require a different color. Now we can take Rig Hauler, I guess. Which is weird. You can't draft Registrar too many times, I guess. That's probably true. What would we have taken if we took Registrar, though? Hunt the Week, I guess? It's pretty good. I'm going to take Deadeye Rig Hauler here. I think this is I think this is fine so far. I think we're doing just fine. All right, so if we took Registrar, we'd have a Hunt the Week, and this pack would be pretty weak for us right now. I do like Soul of the Rapids. I think Soul is probably better. I like I think I like Soul more than most people do. I think a 3-2 Hexproof in this format's pretty solid. We're also not committed to black at this point. I'm not a big fan of... I, I, I try to stay two colors in this format. I, I don't take Evolving Wilds and Traveler's Amulet that highly, especially on that fourth pick, uh, because of those reasons. I just don't think you need them in, in two-color decks. And I think... Kite Sail Corsair is is just as good as Goblin Trailblazer, I think. I think these these creatures are on par. So I'm more than happy to take a Kite Sail Corsair here. I could take the Adept, but I don't see us having that many Merfolk. And without Merfolk, it's just a 2-1 for 5. What up? Who cares? This pack's actually pretty decent. Like, I don't mind Miss Cloak Herald in the raid, the evasive raid deck. Uh, Piteous Plunder is a little expensive for what he does, but if you can get some trophies out of it, or uh, treasures out of it, it's pretty trophy. Um, I don't hate, I actually don't hate Dinosaur Hunter. I don't see us controlling a vampire, which I think does make this worse. I don't think Mind Rod is that great in general, but this format does have a lot of expensive cards. It might just be Plunderer here. I'm going to take the Herald. You want the evasive guys. Also, it makes this Crashing Tide that we're going to pick up right now a little better. We could also take Protean Raider. I don't know if, if taking this is worth uh, negating a Reaver Ambush when I think Crashing Tide is pretty good. This could be very good, though. 
I think Crashing Tide is great, though. I don't think we're committed to black here, and I think the Raider is a stronger card. This does make me want to stay black, though. Yeah, we're just going to take Dusk Charger here. This card's really strong. Fathom Fleet Border is pretty good. All right, I'm going to put the, the Raider on the sideboard in case we get fixing. I think Border is better than Amulet here. And uh, I'm okay taking it and, and putting this in the sideboard. I think this two drop is just better to have. Yeah, I don't care about Corsair. I do like one drops though. Oh, another another Herald is actually really strong. We have not seen one meme yet, but this is also pack one. So we have two more packs full of them. I have faith. Also, I don't mind a Protean Raider if we have a way to splash. Like, that's pretty good. Fauna's Hunger. I think that's actually just I think the cards are just worse than than Moment of Craving. I was really hoping it was Twilight Vampire Guy. It was not. I'm pretty sure Moment is just better. Like this is only good if you have City's Blessing. And I'm not sure we're a City's Blessing deck yet. We have Dusk Charger, but that's about it. Plus they can also sacrifice the worst. I'm gonna take Moment here. Seafloor Oracle. Hmm. Double Miscloak Herald seems pretty good with a Seafloor Oracle. I like Forerunner of the Coalition, but Vana is Vortex. Vana's Hunger, or whatever it is, is not Vortex, I imagine. Also, Vana is not, not even four ticks. <laughs> Vana is a dollar. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take the Seafloor Oracle. This card seems insane in our deck. Wow. Polyraptor, huh? Okay, that's a, that's a thing, I guess. I don't mind another Fathom Fleet border, especially if we get more one drops. Look at this, man. No respect, these people. Vana's hunger is three cents. Vana herself is one ticket, if that. So, yeah, we're just gonna take the the Fathom Fleet border. Wow, two expel from Araska, huh? Okay, uh, we're gonna take the Impale. Hey, that's my boy Polly wrapped over here. I hope we hopefully we can get one of these back. I think this card's just fine. Oh, well, I guess we can take, take this one, I guess. Can we get more? Look at the little dumpling. What up, little dumpling? Yeah, I'm just going to take the Expel here. We have 11 creatures already, and I think Expel is a, a fine... Wow, another Impale. All right. You got it. It's basically just a worse Chupacabra, right?
Little dumpling, no. Admiral's orders. This is actually a fine counter spell. We don't have any vampires. I don't think Voracious Vampire is great because of that. I actually don't hate Admiral's Orders as a card that's like, I attack with my guys. If you try to kill something, I counter for one. It actually blew me out once, and I think that, I think it's actually pretty good. I don't think we want another four drop here, especially when we're not specifically the um, the Ascend deck. I think I've opened maybe two Chupacabras, and I think they were in the same draft. Which is kind of weird. Another Strength of the Pack. There's another Dusk Charger. I like a Grasping Scoundrel just because it's a run drop. I like Dinosaur Hunter, but it's, it's pretty versatile as far as uh, blocking goes. Yeah, I want to take the Hunter here. I think it's actually a... a like, two drops are so, so pr premium in this format that, like, even this guy that just... Doesn't do much against certain strategies. It's still really strong. Like, Admiral's Orders is just a strictly better cancel, I think. I don't think it is, but... <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the double trooper copper draft, we also went 2-1 because of reasons, I guess. I love Pirate's Pillage. Two treasures and uh, two tokens, or two two cards. It's pretty good. We're just taking Soul of the Rapids here. We have no reason to splash. We also have no way to splash right now, so I'd rather just have a second soul. Two souls are better than one. River Darter is fine, especially when we have Seafloor Oracle. Eh, none of these cards are great. I actually don't mind Sea Legs. I think it's actually pretty good. Also helps with the Ascend. Someone said it's Blue Black Control, I think. I said I don't think Blue Black Control is, but I think Blue Black Pirates is. I think that's what I said. Oh, you're saying that I think this is... Okay, well. Sweeks, no big deal. I actually, I do, um, I do check pretty regularly. So I, I, I try to keep, uh, keep, keep in mind what cards are worth value. So when you said Vana was worthful, I was like, wow, that seems insane. Because she's just not played anything, you know? But I do appreciate it. I do, good looking out. I don't even hate Gleaming Barrier. Just block all the things, make a treasure. Whatever. Like, this deck looks complete. I would play this deck like this with 15 creatures and tons of removal, like Reaver Ambush, Double Impale, uh, Expel from Araska, Water Knot. Like, this seems just fine. I even like Dark Inquiry for the sideboard. Yeah, I don't think we passed a single Sailor of Memes, unfortunately. Ashes of the Ab Abhorrent. Don't think it's Pillar. Don't think it's so... Uh, oh, Mark of the Vampire. Oh, hi, Mark. Mark. I, I could see putting... I could see taking Mark and just putting it on Soul of the Rapids. That seems pretty good. I don't actually think we need Contract Killing in our deck. Mark also on Miscloak Carol seems pretty good. We just have Double Impale, Reaver Ambush, Water Knot. I just don't feel like... In Moment of Craving, I don't even feel like we need... 
contract killing here. Like, I'd almost rather make sure we can get a Mark of the Vampire. Because I think it's really strong in this deck with double Miss Carol, double, double Soul. Even putting on a Kite Sail Courser, that was, is pretty good. I'm just going to take Mark here. I think it's better. Oh, Sailor of Memes. All right. Let me know if I see a Pirate's Cutlass. It's one of the few cards that I constantly miss when I'm, when I'm picking things. I think it's Sailor here. It could be Skullduggery. I think Skullduggery is real strong, but I think it's Sailor. Yeah, I'm going to take Sailor. I'm trying to figure out, like, this is 23. I'm trying to figure out what the next cut is. <laughs> Probably Sworn Guardian, but even Sworn Guardian gets in there with the uh, Seafloor Oracle. Blood Kratos Paladin, you are not terrible. Another Sailor. I like Anointed Deacon. Another Mark. Oh, hi, oh, Mark. Hi, Mark. I don't know if we want two Marks, though. That's too many Marks. I think two Sailors is fine, though. I don't hate a Deacon, but we have no Vampires, so I don't think that's an, op an option. Uh, the problem is I don't think we need I don't think we need another effect like contract. I don't think it's about just being a better card. It's about do we need that effect? And I don't think we do. Like I can take a deck if I only got removal, like in every pack. If every pack opened removal, it may be the best card, but I don't need it for my deck in every pick, right? So sometimes it's not about taking the best card in the pack. It's about taking the best card for your deck. Twenty-four cards. Probably grasping scoundrel. I can take this guy out. I want to minimize the number of creatures that die to like a Regisaur or like a Shake the Foundation because those cards are pretty pretty good. I think this deck looks great like this. I think our removal's on point. Our tricks are on point. River Darter is probably the next cut if we get a really good... Uh... Oh, Pirate's Cutlass? Oh, yes, please. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're just going to take the Cutlass here. I can see cutting Admiral's Orders and boarding in if we need it. I do like Admiral's Orders a lot because it just does counter things. Like, there's some bombs. They're just like, I wish, uh, wish I had a way to deal with that. I like Siren's Ruse. I like Charter Course. I like Dead Eye Tormentor. I like all these cards, man. I don't think it's this guy. I think it's either Charter Course or Siren's Ruse. I think Chart is better than Ruse. Like the best card about Ruse is is being able to blink one of your your raid guys and draw the card. But we're not doing that in our deck, so we're just gonna actually take Chart. I don't like Plunderers, but I think it's a good card. Pirate's Prize also fine. Draw two. Like, we're just not going to have a ton of artifacts, and we don't need more creatures, so. Oh, Shadow Sith. We actually won that draft handily, so. Yeah, I'm going to take I'm gonna take Pirate's, Pirate's Prize here. I think it's the best card in this pack. And I like having ways to draw more cards. So, suck on them eggs. I'm going to take this Cancel. What do we cut? We need one cut here. Oh, uh, I like Lookout's Dispersal. This is actually a great counter spell. Easy pick. Sworn Guardian's probably the cut here, right? I would imagine. I do like a Storm Sculptor. Is this card good with two Merfolk, though? Like, if this is only good with our Miskel Carolds, that's unfortunate. Maybe our Miss Cloak Carols aren't even good. Maybe we just take these three out. We can bring in, like, Storm Sculptor. Actually, Storm Sculptor is probably better than Dusk Charger here if we're going to play the Seafloor Oracle. 
I like that. And we do have River Darter too, which I think is fine. It's probably going to be one of the easiest cuts, but... Depths of Desire is good. I don't want to cut Pirates and I don't want to cut Merfolk, so it puts us in an awkward position. Mm, do we already have a cancel? We have a negate, a cancel, a lookout's dispersal, and an admiral's orders. I think we're good on counter spells. I want to take the Dire Fleet Interloper. Yeah, this guy's fine. Actually, yeah, this guy's fine. I'm not taking that life gain card. And we have a spell pierce. Now we have the full the the full this the, the full might of the counter spell army at our, our at our disposal. What's our one cut here? Is it one soul the rapids maybe? I will let you sing me to sleep now that I have an actual bed. Now that I have made it to an actual bed and I'm stuck under the cat again. Wow. Well, I appreciate that. I think it's actually just one soul. Because, like, we do, we we have a mark, which is great for this guy. I want the, I actually want the Sworn Guardian just because we do have Seafloor Oracle, and I think it's important to have early drops. I like Storm Sculptor with this guy, especially. Especially if we can bounce, like, a Sailor of Means or something. We can bounce a one drop, just replay it. That seems pretty good. I don't think Dino I, I like Dinosaur Hunter a lot, actually, especially because it's a pirate, so you can play... It's our only two-drop pirate, which means... Or, well, it's one of our two two-drop two pirates, which means we can play it on turn two, and then Cutlass automatically have a 4-3. So I definitely want to keep this guy. It's also just great against certain dinosaurs. Like, you just... Uh, the 1-3 can still attack. Like, I mean, you're going to get into board situations where, like, they have one dude, you can bounce it, attack, draw a card. I, I agree with you that's probably one of the weaker guys, but... Yeah, maybe it's... I just don't like having two two-drops. I guess we have one-drops, too. All right. I, I think... I don't know if this is a 16-land format. It might, be, it might be when we have double Sailor of Memes. Let's try 16 lands and see how it goes. We have a ton of four-drops, which is why I'm reluctant. But we also have Charter Course. We have uh, double Sailor. I think we can actually... I'm going to get... Let's see if we can get by on 16 lands. We'll do 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, no Protean Raider because our only source of red is Double Sailor. It just doesn't... I don't I don't feel comfortable with messing up a mana base. I also don't think we're aggressive enough to have the Grasping Scoundrel. Like, because outside of the Mistglow Carols, we're really not that aggressive, and these guys aren't that aggressive. Like, we're... Kind of just taking over with, like, Mark and these late guys and the evasive guys and just trying to deal with the board. Our sideboard looks great, though. Like, I think this is an option, this is an option, this is an option, this is an option. Dark Inquiry is an option. Both of these guys are fine. Barrier's fine. Our sideboard looks great, so... We'll see. I mean, like, I, th there's a ton of customization that we can do to this specific deck. Like, I think there's a ton of options... Like, I can see even taking out the Merfolk and bringing in, like, Charger, Fleet Interloper, uh, like, a couple counter spells or something. Like, I think this deck is uh, one of the more customizable blue-black decks we've, we've built, so.
Dr. Cheese, anytime. I think limited is still the format I stream the most. Um, but I do stream standard and modern from time to time. Especially if people uh, take me up on the... If you guys haven't seen in my Twitch profile, I am taking submissions for decks and things. Uh, I will critique your deck, I will give you feedback, and we'll make some changes to it, and I'll play it through a league. So you guys can check that out in my in my profile. I'm going to mulligan this hand. This hand will keep, keep you on top. All right. So this guy's going to be dealing us two, but then this guy's going to be like, hey, bro, I see you. All right, all right, I accept. Oh, I see. Welp, that's pretty good. I'm just doing their job for them. Here, I'll take two. Sure. Put your little hook on. It's not weird to take two if it's from a bro. Yeah, Zombub, you got it. Well. This guy. Well, we're just going to keep both back to block and hope we don't die. Because if we go for three and they go for four, we're not winning that race by any means. We could have kept Reaver Ambush to just exile this guy when they went to equip, but... I don't know if that's even good. They're going to impale a guy and attack for four. We're just going to lose to Captain's Hook. And this should be a one for one. If they kill one of the guys in response, it's still a one for one. I wish whenever the creature became attached, the hook died. That would be better for me. Sure. That's sad. That was a good draw. I guess we actually just Reaver when they try to equip and hope they don't have a counter spell. All right, let's see what happens. Joke's on you. Oh, no, joke's not on me. All right. Oh, look at that little guy. And that other guy. All right. Every creature is kind of a pain when they have a uh, captain's hook. 
captain's log. Putting this on this guy is really hard to deal with, unfortunately. I'm going to play this guy in the hopes that we draw Mark. Like, I'm literally just trying to draw Mark here. Oh, I see. Insect pirate, huh? Okay. I'm going to take five here because otherwise he just eats both of our guys or we trade with a guy that's significantly worse. So I would rather play border next turn. I really just want Mark of the Vampire here. That's not it at all. Yeah, I would just move the Kite Sail Corsair over. Oh, actually, but it would kill his guy, so that's pretty good, I guess. I wish Blue Black had a way to deal with uh, artifacts, but that is not a thing that we have. Let's just block with these two idiots. Trade one four and one three for one two. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have a run aground. <laughs> I wish we did. That would be great, but not today. But we're also not trying to kill the creature, we're trying to kill the captain's hook, so I don't think we're having a problem killing the creature. The creature is just obnoxious at worst, but Mark? Oh, hi, Mark. No, oh, that's not it. That is not a Mark. Oh, Blood Feast. All right, that's pretty good. Blood Fast, rather, not a feast. No one's eating here. Mm -hmm. Pay to life. Draw a card. We have both Negate and Dark Inquiry on the board. We also have Spell Pierce. We have a bunch of cards that can deal with this. We're probably going to bring them in, so. Go to one. Still hoping for that mark. That oh hi mark. Well, now we're hoping for it even more. Yeah, they just move it over and, and, and kill us next turn. Okay, so... Let's take out Sworn Guardian. You seem pretty bad. We'll bring in Negate. River Darter can come out. We're really minimizing our Merfolk here, but I think that's fine.
Uh, the Merfolk payoff is Seafloor Oracle, which is pretty sweet. Um, Doritos Intense Pickle. Wow, that seems insane. Yeah, we're just going to bring in two counter spells. See what that happens. See what that happens. See if that works. I will play first. Oh my god, 16 lands. Why, why are you doing me like this? Okay. I like this a lot better. Oh, I like this a lot better. Wow, this dude's going to be huge. I am a fan. Pretty sure Biovisionary actually likes pickles. I don't know why she'd say that. That's really weird. What's the hold up? I just want to play my Corsair and kill you with it. They lost the connection to the game. Also, if you guys want to support the stream while we're waiting, feel free to like or, or follow or subscribe. Um, both of those things are greatly appreciated. They help me keep keep going uh, for all your entertainment needs. Needs? Memes? So... Uh, Bellissimo Acoustic Sun, not here. I don't know. Like, you guys always ask me where he is, and I don't know. Like, if he's not here, then I have no idea where he is. <laughs> it's like... I don't keep that good of tabs on him. We do have to hit a fourth lane for this mark, though, but I think we'll be all right. For all your entertainment memes. Maybe our opponent just never comes back. And then we just get to hang out here for 10 minutes and, and chat. Like like pals. Like you do. Actually, it's 1247 here, Chris. We are, Our time zones are not the same, my friend. The first chip wasn't bad. Neros, I really like this, uh, this, this Dorito update we're getting here. Oh, they came back. All right. I'm putting out an Amber Alert. Wow. You guys. You guys. They've taken seven more minutes than us, which is a significant amount of time. All right, let's... Here we go. Living the dream. Cutlass. How big is this guy with all these things on it? Six five? 
Six four. Don't have moment. From this moment. I don't think they have moment. They didn't have moment. Ice chewing homunculus cutie last seen in edgy Grant Gandalf's house somewhere in Florida. Wow. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Please give me a land for this Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Why did you put this in the trash can? It's such a good card for you. I don't think we want to bounce here. I think we just want to play Sailor here in case we get to... Uh... So then we can definitely play a Mark next turn. I mentioned the chips in response to Feast. No one is eating here. Oh, wow, really? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I feel so misled right now. I thought you were eating some chips. He's not eating chips? What a load of lies. Why must you turn this stream into a den of lies? Why are you the way that you are? Oh, they missed a land drop. Maybe it is a 16 land stream. Or a 16 land format. Got that 6-4, boy. I type slow. I am eating chips. Are you eating chips or not? What's even going on right now? Oh my god, Chris, what are you sending me? Oh my god. What is this? I feel like this game has ended. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you want to double block and trade for Kite Sail Corsair, that's fine. But I don't think I'm going to let you do that, so. Because if you have, like, the Vanas. I'm just going to play double Miss Cloak Herald here. Man, I feel like a dumpling. <laughs> Damn, it feels good to be a dumpling. Chris, I'm going to listen to this, but not on stream, just because, uh, reasons. Yeah, it's called Bring Donkey Kong to Life by Evanescence and DK Rap Mashup, so you're not entirely wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We also have, uh, they're they go to two here? Can't we just kill them by moving the Cutlass? Isn't that good? The Shadow Sith. Thank you for sending me to sleep. I'll send you some Girl Scout cookie money. Tree Fitty. Is it the Shadow Sith or is it the Shadow SL? Is it the Shadows LTH? Because I don't want to. I, I hate mispronouncing people's usernames. Let me know because that is interesting. It showed up as capital L-T-H, but I always thought it was Sith because the L was capital, or the L wasn't capital. I don't know. The L, the L looked like an I. So it was lowercase, right? I don't know. Let's figure it out together. You probably know. Also, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. So I've been just calling you the Shadow Sith this whole time, and you just, like, let me do it? My God. You're a saint, my friend. An utter saint. The Mardu Pox deck, um, I could probably revisit it. I try to only revisit decks that show up, right? Like, if a deck shows up recently and it does well and it's like a, an obscure deck, like if Shadow Pox or Mardu Pox showed up or whatever, I'd probably play it again. Oh, Love, Truth, and Honor. All right, cool. The Shadows LTH. Good to know, man. I'll just call you the Shadows from now on. Wow, that changes everything. Holy smokes, man. My whole world just flipped upside down.
Who is Michelle Branch? That name sounds really familiar, but I can't think of it right now. Also, I'm really... I, I, it's interesting that you know what lurks in... What evil lurks in the hearts of man, you know? Oh, and they took two from this guy? Wow. Wowie kazowie. This hand looks amazing. Just utterly amazing. We can block all day. Next time we can play any four drop or two two drops. Woof. Woof. Oh my god. What is this link you're sending here? Oh, it's a Michelle Branch song. What, are you trying to get me taken down? Are you trying to get my, my videos demonetized on YouTubes? Oh, I kind of just want to impale that guy. I kind of like impaling this guy and keeping up Lookout's dispersal. That seems good, right? Because we don't have a way to deal with that guy otherwise. I guess we can moment of craving it. We can chart a course and then moment of craving. And also, we can't keep up both, unfortunately. And we're just attacking with Kite Sail Corsair here. Uh, we keep up. We we actually do keep up. We keep up dispersal if we impale because this guy will give us two two treasures, so we would still have dispersal up. Wow, you guys are getting real aggressive about the Michelle Branch. That's pretty funny. I'm, I think we're going to chart a course because I'd rather have... Like, if they have something up, if they have, like, a negate or something, it's real bad for us. Do we play land? We did play land. Mm. Alternatively, we can block here and then moment of craving this guy to get the, get the tokens. I think we're just doing that. Maybe we just do that. Is that good? Yeah, I feel like we want to play it safe here. Also, they can definitely just play play something pre-combat and then we don't have to worry about it. Wasting the night away. I'll drink some whiskey drink. I'll drink some vodka drink. I'll drink some cider drink. I'll drink some songs that remind me of the good time. I can't drink songs, I guess. I don't know. I hope you play run aground here and then we can just counter it. That's really all I want. Yeah, this is actually great. <laughs> Unless they have Skullduggery. Oh, they don't have Skullduggery and we get the tokens. Next time we can Impale and Charter Course. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Oh. I don't think we're Impaling this guy because I just don't think we care. I think we're just going to Charter Course and Seafloor Oracle here. You can drink all the songs you want if you just believe. I don't know if that's true, but I want to believe. I feel like this game is good. I feel like we're in good shape. Why don't we draft Arcane Adaptation? Um, well, I don't know. I, it's, I actually don't hate that as much as I feel like I should. I 
I gotta plug my mouse in because it just told me my battery level is critical. It's basically a metaphor for my entire life. Oh, that guy's annoying. But it doesn't get around this guy. This guy's just gonna kill you, right? And so is this. All the things are gonna kill you. That was a good draw. We're doing quite well for ourselves here. I don't think I care about this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have seven. You need three permanents. So if you want like land guy, guy, then we have to worry about that guy. I don't think we do now. I think we're going to keep playing lands though, because we're going to draw two cards next turn, presumably. So I'd like to make sure we have enough things to do. Why isn't impale an instant? Let's talk about that. Murder at three mana could be an instant, but impale at four needs to be a sorcery. I don't know. I assume that wizards R&D balances these cards in limited. That's annoying. That's annoying. Those are my two best threats. Oh, you don't have an extra blue though, so we probably want to use Impale now because otherwise I don't think we're going to get a chance. All right, well. Your 3-3 three, three is kind of obnoxious here, I'll be honest with you. But you have two cards. That's a reasonable one. Give me a Mark of the Vampire or something. Actually, that's probably not that great. Whatever, this guy's fine. If we draw another Impale, we want to take out the Fathom Fleet Border and still be able to attack with a bunch of dudes. I felt like we were in great shape when we had a card drawing engine and an evasion engine on board, but now I feel like we're not in as good of shape here. Especially because they just keep playing amazing cards. Sure. So we just take five in the air from here on out and you're just in much better shape than we are because we cannot get through this is awkward oh I see okay that's good less of a clock that way can you stop playing things, please? Do you get a thing? Do you even have a thing? Oh, you have, you have captains. Yeah, all right. Golden Demise wins you the game. It's pretty good. Oh, three, four, five, six, seven. We go to two. We go to four, rather. I don't even think it's the Hexproof. The Hexproof isn't what's dealing with us right now. It's the Golden Demise that just wiped our board of all the, all the evasive threats. Like, we had, a, we had a card drawing engine and we had an evasion engine, both of which were insane. And then they just followed up with flyer, flyer, flyer. So, I mean, can't really beat that. Yep, go to, go to five. Can't, can't deal with either of those. Yep, and it has menace. All right, cool. So we're just dead here. Well, I felt like we were in great shape, and then we just actually lose to uh, this literal one card. Okay. What can you do, I guess? You sing some songs that remind him of the good times. You sing some songs that remind him of the best times. All right, let's try again. Clearly the 3-0 is not in our future. I'm going to keep this hand. 
There's a lot of cards that could go with Mark in our deck, so I'm okay with that. This is one of them. Who cares? Don't cry for me, next door neighbor. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, who cares, but thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Preach, as they say. Is it from the Argent? Is it from... Don't Cry For Me Next Door Neighbor is from Chumbawamba? Rivals of Ixalan is the last set before it's only big sets. This is the last small set, which is super exciting for me, actually, because, like, right now you have to draft uh, four packs. Like, no, not four packs. Um, So it goes Ixalan, three packs of Ixalan, and then for three months... And then the next set is two packs of the new set and then three, three you know, another pack of Ixalan for another three months. So you're basically drafting Ixalan, the, for, the, the, the set, for six months. And it gets old after a certain point. You're just like, okay, I'm done. And so in the future, it's only three months of every set going forward, which is just amazing to me. And it's, it's a new environment, new mechanics, new keywords. That's super exciting. So yeah, Dominaria is going to be a, uh, a big set and it's going to have uh, its own, you know, it's, it's going to be its own self-contained block. And then three months later, you're going to get an entirely new block with new flavor and new mechanics and, you know, all of that. So, so three, four, five, we put this on, you just are not in good shape. We're going to sculpt. Right? Yeah, we're going to sculpt. If this guy just didn't get the token, that'd be great. Or the, the counter, rather, but... It's not the world we live in, good friends, good friends. If we draw a... Um, a blue, it's very... We can just... Actually, we could probably try to draw blue and then go River Dart or Chart the Course. How many sets will take place on Dominaria? I don't think so. Yeah, I had a feeling they were just going to bounce this guy because it's such good tempo. Like, why wouldn't you? Seems good. I'm just going to kill this guy. Get out of my life. Now if we draw land, we can go border into darter. If we can just draw a soul, that'd be great. Oh, fantastic. Oh my god. I always think we have good decks and then they end up just dying to stupid stuff like this. <laughs> Kill all your good cards, I guess. I mean, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers that at a certain point we'll be able to recover with Mark of the Vampire, but... I feel like it's pretty safe to just take two here. Especially with the aforementioned Mark of the Vampire in hand, so. Big sets could be expensive, but the thing is you gotta remember that like, there's gonna be just as much bulk in those sets too, you know? Like, it's not all gonna be chase rares and, and mythics. I am still living with your ghost. Lonely and dreaming of the West Coast. I don't want to be your downtown. Yeah, I'm just going to take three here. And then we're going to attack with Flatham Fleet Border, I think. Or we can just chart a course, discard a land. That's what we're going to do. That's actually very good. We can go Sailor into Moment here.
Sup with you, nerd. You can send me a Spotify playlist on... Just send me it to me as a message on Twitch. I'm just going to pass here. I don't... There's no There's no benefit to attacking when we're at 5 and they're at 21, so... Their vampire deck is pretty good. We also have to keep in mind they do have a dive down, which is nice to know. I do like bouncing Sailor of Mean memes and then playing Storm Sculptor and then replaying Sailor of Memes. That's pretty good. Even better if we have a land because then we can keep up. Oh, that's pretty annoying. Lonely and dreaming of the West Coast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The problem is if we kill this guy, they still have City's Blessing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This guy just replaces itself, which is super obnoxious. So we actually have to kill this guy, which means this guy gets plus one, plus one. This guy gets plus one, plus one. I guess we're not dead from it, but it's not great. They still have it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, the luminous bonds. Alright, we're dead. Yeah, we're just dead because we can't deal with all this. So it's just kind of obnoxious. Yeah, that was that was good times. Alright. Let's bring in this negate. Take out. Sworn Guardian seems MVP here. So do these sailors. I feel like our deck is actually very good, but I feel like Storm Sculptor is pretty slow, especially when they have uh, bounce spells. I will keep this hand. A Sunrise Seeker? Is that the... The problem is we're not going to get red on turn three. <laughs> it's just never happening. Like, we'd have to actually... Like, we'd have to rely on one of the two Sailor of Memes and probably, like, one Mountain. So the odds of actually getting a Protean Raider on turn three is just not realistic, unfortunately. Give me a Kite Sail Corsair. That is not what I'm looking for here. Lonely and dreaming of the West Coast. Now you guys have this song stuck in my head. I don't want to be your downtown. All right, well. Keep it, ship it. Sure. Well, I would love to attack into your two, three first striker, but. Uh, I thought I hit it, but God, I always get so scared when I think I hit it to go to the next main phase. And I'm not sure because 
I'm worried that it's going to lag and I'm just going to hit it okay again and it's going to go to my end step and I'm just going to be like, no! But. All right, now we got a 2-1, which is, as you can imagine, significantly more manageable for us. But they do have drag down, so that's a thing. Can we get Soul the Rapids and then just draw Mark? That's all I want. That's pretty good. I don't even have any desire to attack with the 3 3 into their 2 1. Like, they just double block. We don't have any way to, to mitigate any kind of bad trades there. Like, we're just trading 2 1 for 3 3, which seems terrible. And if for some reason they have uh, Slaughter the Strong, we just keep these two, which is fine. I'm okay with it. Lonely and Dreaming. The problem is if we do get Draw Mark and they play Soul of the Rapids themselves, they can just double block. We get to kill both, but that's not really what we want. We're not looking for it to trade a 1-3 and a Soul for a Soul and a Mark. Yep, that guy's actually better than a Mark. Or a Soul, rather. That's so. If you double block, you got one and one still. Ah. That's pretty sad. I mean, I'm pretty sure we win combat though. Like we moment of craving, kill it, and then uh, negate whatever they do. I'm okay with that. I don't want to be your... I guess we'll do this. I assume they're going to have dive down. And then we're going to negate a dive down. Look at this. All right. <laughs> nice. Negate battles in, in limited. That's where I want to be. If you want to double block here now, I don't care because I'll just trade your guy away. Yep, that is fine. That is also fine. Because this lets our dead eye rig hauler attack once we get the 2 1 out of the way. Now I want that mark. Oh, hi, Mark. <sighs> Impale one time? Island. Ooh, that was a spicy one. Didn't see that one coming. Wait, no, not spicy. The opposite of that. Terrible. That's what I meant. Sometimes it's confusing. Sure. Sure. Like, realistically, we could have killed this and played around Glorifier, but... It's just the worst creature, and it turns on another creature, and unless they have this guy... Like, this is just ridiculous now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7 versus 8. We have 16 lands, 24 spells, and we have drawn 8 lands, 7... 7 cards, 7 non-lands. That's pretty bad. Meanwhile, our opponent is on turn nine, so they have missed at least four land drops. And even visibly, they have more spells than we do, so. Just a little hard to, uh. Well, hard, just hard to compete when your opponent draws, like, four more spells than you. Like, literal four more spells. Actually, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, five more spells than you do. Sure, this is a trade I'll make. This guy's not doing anything for us. If you want to just trade a 3 3 for a 2 a 3 2, that's fine. Uh, 
just does nothing. So this guy gets a counter. We deal him one and they become a 2-2. Two -two. Like, I don't even want to attack anymore. That's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure you're stacked for six here. It's a two turn clock. Yep, you figured it out. How about Mark? How about that Mark that we were looking for? Expel from Araska. The problem is we attack with both these guys and bounce this guy. They attack for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Even if we block this guy, we take one, two, three, four, five, six. We, we can't even really attack here profitably. I mean, not with the miscloak Herald, which would have put him to a three-turn clock instead of a four-turn clock, which is pretty huge, but... And I just have to assume they have Dive Down in hand. Like, you don't have this many cards in hand, just... Here we go. Something good. Sure, that should be game. Like, we block this guy, we take four, five, six. Well, we take one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's going to be game. Oh, my goodness. This deck is not very good. I thought this deck was great. This deck looked... It, it has all of the components of a good deck in this format. It has a couple bombs. It has great removal. It has evasive guys, but... We're just not able to uh, cobble together. A win, unfortunately. I mean, we'll just play the last round just just to just to do it. But I hate the I hate the Magic Online just disincentivizes you from ever playing the third round in a league because you don't you don't get anything for it. Like, they might as well give you a pack for the win. I, I've went over this before, but it's just frustrating because, like, you should be encouraging people to play all of their rounds rather than not giving anything. Like, once you're 0-2, there's no chance at any prize whatsoever. Like, you should give 20 play points or a pack per win or something like that. Uh, the guy I have on stream? Where? This is rough, but... This hand's great with lands. I'm gonna keep this hand. If we draw one land, it's cool. If we draw two lands, it's great. We have two turns to draw a land. Well, that ain't it. Our opponent is 01, we are 02, so our opponent can only hope to be as good as we are. Oh wow, that's that's great. That's fantastic. <laughs> Give me a break. Ooh. Sure. Well, on the bright side, if we get two swamps in a row, we can impale that thing in three turns. Well, we didn't get them. All right. Well, we can chart a course at least, so we're getting closer. I'd love to blame 16 lands, but we got, we actually got flooded a good amount of times. So, oh my god, come on. Seriously? 
Oh, God. It's so cringy. I'll even take black into Sailor of Means just so we can impale, but... Sure. Yep. All right, cool. We are doing quite well. I don't understand where the lands are. 15 cards, one land. 15 cards, one land. Oh, wow. That's really impressive. <laughs> that's, it's not even like... I'm not even... I'm more impressed than anything. I'm not even mad. I'm just impressed. Two lands. My God. What have we done to deserve such a such a treasure? All right. All right. We're getting somewhere. I don't know where. That's pretty okay. We can play that guy next turn. We can kite sail Corsair. Or we can market the vampire. We can assume they're just going to kill it with any number of removal that they have. I don't know why they haven't played anything when they have all three of their colors, but. All right. Uh, I don't know what to make of that. Yeah, we're just gonna play that guy now. Slash of Talons, killing the Kite Sail Corsair. All right. Interesting that you did not play it last turn, but what do I know? Like, if you drew this guy, wait, did I just I just played this guy last turn, right? Yeah. Okay. So never mind. That doesn't make sense. Wait, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because I played this on two, charted the course on three, played Kite Cell Course on four. Okay, that makes sense. I'm like, why didn't you kill it last turn? This is a two drop. Can't be in play that long. No, we played on four. No blocks. You know, let's do this thing. Let's Bane Slayer it up. And then if they put their their squires mark or whatever, we can just water not keep up expel if we draw a plane or uh Yep, figured Squire, Squire's Devotion. I call it Squire's Mark because of this, but Oh hi Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. You know. Like you do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This would be nine. We just get to win. Do we get to win one round here? Feels okay. We can just expel this. I don't think we care if they if they just replay it again. I don't think we even care. It does let us play three three, which is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have nine permanents. So close to ten. I agree. I wish there was a way in Magic to just draw the lands you need every turn so you can play. But the problem, the problem is just Magic is too far evolved from for that. Like it's just not going to happen ever. Because like there's just too many strategies and too many decks that would be able to exploit that. You're too far into development of Magic. 
to ever be able to change to that system because then the red decks just get insane. Like you just have a, a deck of three lands or whatever, four lands. And then you just so many times you'll just never draw lands again. There's so many decks that get so much better when they don't have to draw lands for the rest of the game. All right, let's go to game three. We're at 28, you're at five. Slaughter the strong. <laughs> In my face. Keep all your vampires. I'm a vampire, Greg. Can you mark me? <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Oh, look at this attack just so you don't die. That's pretty good. But don't you still die? I guess you have a pump spell. No, you don't. Okay, you go to seven and we have... Yeah, we just water knot your guy. Yep, yeah, that guy's... Wait, so in order to... Yeah, okay, we're just going to water knot this guy. I don't care. Get knotted on. Don't be so water knotty. River Darter seems bad. I'd rather have like depths of desire, especially because they have uh, enchantments that they want to put on their guys. Uh oh, Hunter's behind me dreaming. You guys might be able to hear it soon. I'm going to take out this uh, Dinosaur Hunter and bring in Lookout's Dispersal, I think. I wonder if people still get value out of watching these. If you know, once I go O2, I wonder if people still get value on YouTube out of watching the third round. I personally would because I like watching the games themselves, not the record. But let me know. Let me know if you guys are still. Obviously, if you guys are still watching it right now, you do. Um, that was a good draw. But yeah, I'd be curious to know like if it's worth even posting drafts where I go O two one one two. You know. I don't think we're blocking when we have Sworn Guardian in hand. Now we're definitely feeling good. I haven't played Magic in five years. That's fantastic, dude. I appreciate that. That's like probably the best compliment ever. Like people that don't play Magic who still get value out of watching my videos. So if, if any of you guys are out there, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. That is an awesome feeling. I'm I'm super glad that you guys are getting uh, some kind of value out of out of the content I make. So thank you. Yeah, we have nothing to do. We have two instant speed removal spells, so that's pretty sweet. Ooh. Man, skip over after O2, huh? That's sad. That's sad. Uh, I'm going to river ambush this guy because YOLO. And, and river ambush, not river ambush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a good, this is a good situation to be in. Okay, so for 1-1 one, one, and you want to see how, if, if you just win the last round, that's that's good enough. That's pretty good. 
All right, so that's good because now we can depths of desire this guy. We don't have to worry about the. Uh... All right, maybe we just play pirates call us and equip here. I feel like we're winning that race. We could also just play Soul of the Rapids, but. We also just attack for one here and see what happens. I like attacking for one, playing Kite Sail Corsair, and then bouncing this guy after. Like at instant speed. Could have also bounced and just attacked with both, and then we just get to eat something for free. That's also very good. Yeah, I feel like we're in good shape here. It's hard to find quality personalities that let alone people who don't just jam red and blue decks. I I I try to steer clear of the red and blue decks in this format because I just think the other decks are more fun. Ooh, that guy's not even getting in there. That's pretty good. I will bounce you. I will bounce you. I guess we we play Pirates Cutlass Equip here. That seems good. God, do they have Settler Wreckage? That would be so brutal. Can you imagine? I think we're just going to attack with these two, see what happens. I don't want to walk into some Settler Wreckage. That would be pretty brutal. Here we go. That's fine. That is no settler wreckage, my friend. You. And you. All right. Would you ever consider doing something like a streamer showdown and posting videos like that just for much more variety on the YouTube channel? Um, What do you mean a streamer showdown? How do you mean? Good old glorifier of ducks. So if this guy takes two, we just trade here. We two for one ourselves. That doesn't seem great. I'd rather just attack you for five and draw a card. Still, we'll be getting some prey throughs. I'm not done with that game yet. We just uh, slowed down a bit. And by a bit, I mean we missed. I think we missed one week, so... Oof, that's pretty good. I mean, that's good, but we do get to block, and then we get to uh, moment of craving if they if they don't fall for it. I mean, the streamer showdowns are are, are wizards of the coast things, and they invite streamers to do it. Uh, they haven't invited me in quite a while, so I mean, that's up to them. If they invite me, I would love to be a part of it again, but. You know, I'm not, I'm not deliberately not doing them. Like I, I am, the, but those, but those are put on by wizards. So, at what point do we just put this on here? I don't think we're there yet. I think we just attack with all the flyers. Like we're gonna have to two for one ourselves. But this guy's already like not playing nice so go to seven sure i am afraid of what your last card is but i do want you to gain less life so we're going to play this now Oof, I like it. All right, good good deal. Two for two. And we drew a land. <laughs> Not ideal. All right. Well, our board and our... our I would say our hand looks better, um, but 
They only have two cards in hand. One, we know one of them. We know none of them. It's two to two. A part of me assumes at least one of their cards is a land because they didn't have any tricks last game and they also didn't... Uh... Alright, well we got two dudes here. But total five. Let's see if you can... Yep, here we go. Oh god. Good deal. Oh, now we're just drawing infinite lands. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ten to eleven. That guy is not going to do it. However, you go to one, so you're not dead unless we can draw. Not that. I'm going to turn this guy sideways so we can actually attack with everybody. Which forces some blocks out of you because... You're going to one automatically, so this guy's lethal, this guy's... Yep, alright. Just going to eat all your guys, I guess. And still draw a card. Good deal. That should that should do it. All right, finally, one two. Not the best record. Not a great record. Uh, a losing record. But um, what are you gonna do? That happens. Still gonna post it. You guys are still gonna be watching it on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching it on YouTube. By the way, feel free to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content. And be sure to come back every day at 11 a.m. Eastern time for a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.